just continue to stack days together. I mean, our last game against Dallas, um, as a collective, I think we play, played really well. Um, we looked at some stuff that we need to clean up, just little bits of spurts here and there, but honestly, we're just going to continue to work. What, what's the big takeaway from the past few games? Just to be disciplined on defense, definitely, and just to make them feel us always. For you, I know this, you're focused on New York, but of course, after that WNBA All-Star game, has that sort of sunk in yet that you're getting the, this opportunity? Um, a little bit, but not really. Just focused on what we have ahead of us. And then um, once our game is complete, then we can look forward to All-Star. I know the, the goal is obviously to find success with this team. Um, but for you personally, I mean, just to, you know, to be going to the All-Star game in year one as a rookie in the start, how cool is that? It's pretty cool. I'm, I'm just thankful. It's an open door that God just gave to me. And so it's just really special. Before you started, was that a goal of yours, just a personal goal, and did you expect to accomplish it this soon? I mean, what has this first half of the season been like for you? Yeah, it was. It definitely wasn't a personal goal, just because I didn't. I don't think I even thought that like happened, um, especially as a rookie. Um, but I'm excited that it did, and this excited for the opportunity. How cool is it to do it with your teammate as well? Oh yeah, it's definitely cool. I'm so glad that Kelsey's with me. How weird will it be that you will both be on different sides of the ball? Oh, I know. We just said that. We're like, we're going to be on opposite sides. It's different, but it's okay. Sort of a benefit. You know her game a little bit. Yep, but then she knows mine. <laughs> what, what are you looking to get out of the experience? Or is it just kind of take what it is and yeah, have fun with it? Yeah, definitely take what it is. Um, just get that experience. Um, and yeah. How's your game grown, do you think, since that first game? Yeah, just being able to read defenses a lot better, understanding. Um, I think I've definitely adapted to the pace of the game, but definitely just reading defense and understanding what the right move or pass is. What have you learned from Kelsey? Um, that always be on the lookout. She has some nice dimes. And last thing for me, I know you told me on that Zoom that uh, you were more concerned about maybe those dance moves prior to. I'm still uh, concerned. You're still concerned. So no practice or anything? No, I've, I have had no practice. I'm still concerned. So we don't we don't have to ask you right now. To I'm still practice. concerned. Okay. <laughs> Are you Absolutely. looking forward to uh, if uh, in the All Star game uh, you and Kelsey get matched up against each other? Oh, there, no, thank you. Gonna, you. Uh, come out there, uh, no, slap thank you. the floor. Uh, <laughs> no, thank you. No, thank you. I'll just have to call for help. <laughs> just talk to me. I mean, just right now, you guys are getting ready for tomorrow. What's the mentality just in the last few games as you guys enter this game? We had to win. Um, we know how tough New York is. They have phenomenal players. Um, and I think for us, we had to. The, the goal is to finish on a high note. And I think we deserve it for ourselves, so all the work we put in. And I think um, going into the second half of the season, it's going to be a big deal. Too, you know? Do you feel that this team is close? I mean, you guys have been in all these games. I, we're, we're definitely a step closer every game. But um, in order to be that top tier team, we got to make the necessary sacrifices. And, you know, anybody in our team, we're still working on some things. But I think it's worth it. Do you like that this All-Star break's happening at this time? <laughs> um, I guess so. I haven't really thought about that. It's a good, good observation. Do you need a break? Yeah. <laughs> Definitely. Yeah. What, you going to take me on vacation? <laughs> You're going on vacation. You're going oh, to Vegas. Yes. <laughs> and everyone in the world's in Vegas right now. Um, for, for you, just to, having this experience to be an all-star, yeah. is it something yet? Uh, not really. I think, I think honestly, it'll hit, hit me once. Maybe even the game start. I do like a three-point contest, and like my stomach gets all tight, and I get anxious. Um, but for me, it hasn't really settled in. I haven't really talked much about it. Um, me and my boyfriend talked about it a, a, a bit, but like, it's hard to say about how I really feel about it. I think once I put the jersey on and once I, you know, get around the other players, I think it'll be a moment where I'm like, oh. So I haven't had my aha moment yet. So you, you've been impactful since you got here. Yeah. It feels like you've gotten better in the yeah. last few years. I mean, do you yeah. feel good to know the fruits of your labor have paid off <laughs> your first All-Star appearance? Yeah, kind of. Um, I think for me with the whole All-Star thing, you have to be able to okay being with being who you are or whatever player you you know you make yourself out to be. And I think for me, you know, these last couple of years it, the ball just didn't bounce my way, even if I felt like I played a certain way. But right now I'm living in the moment. I was able to be chosen for it, so we're gonna live in that for right now. Is it nice to be going with the teammate as well? Ah, oh, a thousand percent. I do wish we were on the same team, um, but I look forward to you know really hanging out. Um, me and um, Stewie on another level, understanding some people like Slood and um, Ezzy and all those guys, and get, get a chance to really know them as people. So. How weird will it be to be on different teams know, with right? Leah? We just talked about that just now on the baseline, and we were just like, it would have been nice, um, but she has her Gamecock friends with her, so I'm sure, I'm sure she'll feel comfortable no matter what. Do you want to go one-on-one -on -one against her in this All-Star game? Oh, A.B.? 
Oh man, I don't know, AB. I don't know if she want that with me. <laughs> you think you could take her? She, she said no. Yeah. <laughs> that mom might, she might block my shot about 10 times, but it's okay. I'm still loving it. The 11th, the 11th time you'll be good, right? <laughs> right, right, right. Um, was it always a goal to be a WNBA All-Star? Any competitor, you want to be everything. Yeah, I don't care who you are. And I mean, everybody out here fights for something. Um, All-Star, Olympic medal, uh, first team, whatever, whatever, whatever. However, it's not like on my list every time I walk in my room, like this has to happen. But the focus and the attention to your to your work, you know, you want to be a part of those conversations? You know, there's been a lot, so much focus, so much attention on Aaliyah. How have you seen her just grow throughout this season? What's it sort of been like to mentor, teach her a little bit? Um, for me, it's about the emotional part of it all. A lot of times you spend so, everybody tells you how it's supposed to go. Everybody talks at you, everybody criticizes everybody, give you, you know, their concerns. And no one, you know, stops to think about how you feel. And that's where we come in. Um, I think for me, it's just about making sure that Leah is, for one, happy, um, enjoying herself be, with being herself. and knowing that the fact that even though, you know, the hiatus that, you know, that she's on with, the, with her name, and she's a household name. And for us, it's about making sure that we keep that support from an internal standpoint and making sure that she's mentally okay. Cool. Perfect. Thank you. Awesome. Of course, Thanks, cool. Okay, uh, Christy, I guess just first of all, we heard it right there, but what's the message to the team just after the last few games? Yeah, just, you know, our defense against uh, Dallas, uh, we brought it to a different level. That's what we've been just begging of them. Um, a really great defense. Had one instance at the end of the third quarter where we let them go on an 8-0 run, and that's what we've really tried to focus on is eliminating those runs. So just doing everything on both ends with a sense of urgency. You mentioned the runs there. I mean, do you feel you guys are in all these games? Like, it's you guys are close. Do you feel that? Mm, yeah, yeah. L lose a lot of sleep over those that closeness. Uh, yeah. You know, I don't want to keep saying it. We just have to learn how to uh, withstand some runs because that's what the game of basketball is. It's a game of runs. You got to be able to stop the bleeding, is what we call it, and then go on your own run. And um, we've been putting those together, and we just got to put it together for four quarters. And we just talked to Kelsey and Aaliyah, two All Stars. What does having a couple All Stars on this team mean to this franchise? Yeah, I think we have more than two. Yeah. For sure. I think we definitely have more than two All Stars on this team, and that's what's really fun and exciting for our future. You know, you never really have this much talent at such a young age all together. So trying to figure out how to manage these young ones who are all all-stars, right? Like several of them. And so it's really fun to manage. It's like a chess match, just trying to get them. But once it all starts clicking and we're all on the same page, the future of the Fever is unbelievable. Aaliyah and Kelsey are on different teams in this all-star game on Saturday. Are you rooting for one over the other? No, I don't even, I'm gonna go in like regular clothes. I never wear anything but fever gear. I'm just going in regular clothes. I'm gonna cheer every time they both do something well. If they go one-on-one, -on -one, no, who do you think's gonna? Oh, I don't know. I mean, <laughs> depends on where the ball is. If it's Kelsey outside or Lee inside, that's who gets the win. For, for these two players to get this league-wide recognition, I mean, you've seen them every game. You've yeah. seen the growth, growth of Aaliyah, the leadership of Kelsey. Are those the qualities you think that led up to this? Or what have you seen? I mean, you've had a oh, yeah. Seat. I mean, I think Kelsey Mitchell's been an all-star in years past. I think she's just not been in a situation where she was able to, to make that roster. I said, but now, you know, this year, she's done some incredible things. She's grown both on both ends of the floor. Um, so I gave her an opportunity. And then Aaliyah is just, I mean, she's just a, a dynamic presence um, on the court and off the court. And I think, you know, her getting to be a, a starter is absolutely incredible. Kelsey getting the opportunity to finally to be there and experience being an all-star, which she's been for, for several years now. You mentioned Aaliyah there, and I know we talked to you on the Zoom about this after she got picked for this. How have you just, I mean, how has she impressed you? Because I know you were saying that she's blown you away just how she's been able to do all this yeah. in her first year. Aaliyah Boston just wants to win. And you're the number one pick, and you have all the, and at the end of the day, you know, she hears about how many shots she's not getting or getting and this and that. Aaliyah wants to win. And those are the people you want on your team. It doesn't matter what my job is. She'll tell you that. I don't care, coach. Like, I just want to win. And that's exciting. And then last thing for me, uh, this time of year, there's going to be this break this weekend. G much need a break. Do you like where this break falls? I do like where this break falls. I was really hoping we would have um, three, three, three more wins. I thought we would have three more wins at this point at the break um, for our future goals. Um, but we didn't get those. And it, it's adversity and it's learning from it and figuring out, you know, how we got those breakdowns and what we have to do to get better. So a break is going to help. You can see their legs. You can see they're tired because they've worked really hard since training camp. This is a great time for a break. We're going to get to come home and be at home a lot, which is a really good thing.
do the laundry after the wet yeah. <laughs> Right, the, the, the luggage never leaves the pool. You just like wash it, put it right back in. Christy, for you, um, we talked a lot about Leah Justin to like her first season, your first season as a head coach. So how have you tried to find that balance between like wanting it all and, and not getting there quite yet and then losing sleep and trying to get rest? Like how have you dealt with that? Yeah, I'm down to a size two, four. Um, that's one of the things that's happening. Um, not a lot of sleep. Listen, I, I said it earlier, there's so much talent in all these young players. That doesn't happen in this league. Like, you, it's really hard to find. Like, we're the youngest team in the league. You go look at Vegas, they've got all that talent. They're all vets. They've all been there, done that, wherever they were before. Same with New York. These guys, this is, this is the first time in the first couple years in this league. So there's so much to teach. There's so much to show them on how, what it is to be a pro how to play together. They came from their universities where they were the best on their teams. It's just a lot. Like for me, that's that's the difference, having so many young people to manage. What are you learning, I guess, throughout the process? Oh Lord. To not let the lows be so lows and the highs be so high. That, that is what it is for me. We were four and six at one time, sitting on a high, and then we've just kind of, especially defensively, where I thought we would be a lot better at this point in time. Dallas, we brought it back up a notch. Um, but just trying to figure out, you know, when you have a veteran team, I'm used to coaching veteran teams, and like you, you have days where you let them just watch video. I'm not able to do that. Like I, I've realized now, like you've got to keep them in the gym, you got to keep moving, you got to keep putting the ball in their hands. They're not ready for those just video sessions yet. Cool. Thank awesome. You.